all right guys how are you all doing i'm fierce to hear i'm sorry for the late upload it's been five days i haven't uploaded because i was in the uni having a lot of troubles anyway that doesn't matter today we have a triple forum here and this is for the rtx 4080 12 gigs unlaunched of course but it has already been benchmarked surprisingly probably someone got hands onto it from insider i guess but yeah, this is the RTX 4080 12 gigs model that has been unlaunched. But in the 3D mark, that also got a score of, as you can see, 5,382 in Speedway. In Sp Time Spy Extreme, it got around 10,794. Uh, the GPU, of course, the CPU got, well, that doesn't really count. But yeah, the GPU got 10,794. And on Fire Strike Ultra, it got 13,000. 472 basically an uh, average of 1300 or not 13 uh, 1511 not av average though total score of course is getting 185 plus fps that's great and it also uh, tells you the idea of uh, how well that uh, or how bad it performed i should say because it was uh on par with rtx 3090 ti or might be falling a little bit but yeah it doesn't really matter but because we expect more than that, because, you know, generational uplift uh, should have more than that. But yeah, I guess there's a reasoning why this card got cancelled. And if you look into some uh, wattage here, the board power draw was 261.7, which is okay, not bad. And then again, it's not a gaming benchmark, it's a synthetic benchmark, so makes sense. All in all, we won't be seeing this card anyway. Just your, you know, some benchmarks here. But if they bring in 4070 and you know make this card the 4070 which is highly unlikely because you know it's gonna cost a lot yeah that would be great but they won't do that so that's a bummer next up we have nvidia officially giving the support for the 3060 8 gigs and the 3060 ti gdr 6 x memory of course i mentioned before and this is the their statement to give more choices to gamers and creators we're introducing a couple of additional options from our network of graphics cards partners worldwide starting in november basically they're going to be launching this november or oh, they have already launched it but i don't know why they just stated in november because i've seen other board partners already bringing in the 3060 gdr 6x based uh, uh gpu here so yeah anyway so they're bringing in the, of course, the GDR 6X memory with the 3060 Ti and the 8 gigs G6. Surprisingly, they're not bringing in 6X. That's really weird. Anyway, so yeah, 3060 with 8 gigs, uh, a bit downgrade, I believe. Hopefully, the pricing won't be that great. And of course, the driver support has been uh, provided. So yeah, 3060 and 3060 Ti G6X and 3060 foot 8 gigs G6 memory has been support uh, supported, and there it is. With the drivers, of course. Next up, we have an uh, info about Radeon launching in December 1 to 5th, basically. So, the video cards asked this question that... So, December, like, you know, the, a follow-up question, of course. And Grayman55, he's replying, it should be sometime between December 1 to 5. So, basically, this is the time for AMD Radeon uh, RDNA 3 graphics curve to be, you know, available for the market. And hopefully they will they will be great yeah that's interesting december one two five or basically from december 5th i guess i don't know could be but yeah we'll see and next up we have a little bit of interesting thing a little bit of interesting thing that's really a weird way to say it but anyway amd has been uh, added support for vulcan 1.3 and that's right that's the amd rdna 3 gps will be coming with that as you can see here, the product family, it mentions AMD RDNA 3 S GPUs, or discrete GPUs, whatever you want to call it. And yes, it's going to be supporting Vulkan 1.3, which is great. The kernel level, uh, kernel has been uh, uploaded, I guess, for the OS 1.3. Hopefully, it's going to be good. Also, the ray tracing of Vulkan would be also interesting to look at, because they're going to be improving that a lot, I believe. And lastly, we have a big news here, coming from Igor's lab. And he has found the reasoning why the, uh, well, uh, RTX 4090 12 VHPR PGWR adapters are melting. We know the answer now. If you want to look into the full uh, findings of Igor, you can look into this. It's the, he has everything, also including a video right here. Right here, if you want to watch it, link will be in the description. Shh, you should go watch it. Of course, it's in Germany. I can't really understand it, but... 
I will tell you what the sum summary is. And he already provided that. So the problem, his, his uh, findings found that it's not the 12 VHPWR connectors or even the unplugging and plugging. It's basically the uh, inferior quality that's he mentioned right here. The current trigger is NVIDIA's own adapter to 4 times 8 pin in the accessories whose inferior quality can lead to failures and has already caused, we've already seen that, that it's causing a lot of problems, like it's literally melting, which is not great, of course. He also mentioned that bending or kinking, kinking, okay, the wires directly at the connector of the adapter puts too much pressure on the solder joints, basically breaking that. So the quality is inferior and people, you know, they are bending it, obviously, because you're putting it inside and, well, it's going to bend anyway. So if they're bending, you need to have something, uh, you know, a, a superior quality for that, right? And it seems like it's not. That's why they're literally breaking apart. He also mentioned that the inner bridge between the pins is too thin. Again, they're cheaping out this uh, uh, connector here, which is, I don't know why they're doing that. So, because look, looking at, at this, as you can see, it's too thin, resulting cross-section to compensate the current flow on the two or three instead of four connected 12 volt lanes. So basically, the all in all we can tell is that the quality of the adapter was inferior, basically. And, well, it's bending because well, obviously it's gonna have you will bend it but while bending you're breaking a little bit of it resulting in some kind of short circuit i guess and he also mentioned this that splitting each of the four 12 awg leads in onto each of the six pins in the 12 vhpwr connector of the adapter by soldering them onto bridges that are much too thin is dangerous and the reasoning is that the ends of the leads can break off at the solder joints basically when bent that's the main factor here when you're bending it because obviously you're putting in it's gonna have to bend and that bend is not applicable for this inferior level of quality of adapter so i guess they need to improve the quality of this uh wire here or of course the the connector well, we know that NVIDIA has already been, uh, not announced, they've already been notified about this issue. And they're already, uh, well, it seems like they're already taking back the uh, connectors here. As you can see here, NVIDIA is requesting board partners to collect and send damaged RTX 4090 cards to HQ. So basically, they're taking their responsibilities, which is, I mean, they have to, because there's a lot of people who are suffering from it, which is great. And if you look into some pictures here, they are terrible, like, of course they're gonna burn because he mentioned the reasoning already that it's bending it's breaking apart and there's short circuit and it's burning so yeah that's that's really bad that's, that's seriously bad but i guess nvidia was unaware of this issue because otherwise they wouldn't be sending these adapters anyway so that's bad but also not to mention one more thing right here is that standard compliant power supply cables from brand manufacturers are not affected so basically be quiet or whatever uh company corsair uh, any other you know uh, power supply that exists they're not getting affected by it because they're not cheaping out the quality what's getting cheaped out is the nvidia's own uh, as you can see it mentioned here that their, their NVIDIA's own adapter, which is the problem. And again, I think a lot of, even J2 stand, uh, tens, uh, wait, what? J2 cents, what am I talking about? Have also made a lot, couple of videos about it. And he mentioned that not to use that adapter because, you know, it, it's going to lead in basically a lot of problems. He Obviously, he didn't, he wasn't aware, but later on he was right because as we're seeing, people are suffering from it because they're literally burning and melting so what do you think do you think nvidia messed up well yeah basically and yeah like i i have to say like this is this situation kind of bad for those who owned 4090 because obviously you're paying so much and now they're getting they're getting burned gpu just because of an adapter which sucks which really sucks because one adapter is ruining the you know gpus like that that's really messed up so yeah, uh, you should you shouldn't use adapters anyway because you know adapters looks weird because you know four 
two uh, two pins coming out with four uh you know that that looks weird as hell it's better to use one single cable coming with the power supply which again are they're not getting affected because they're better superior quality anyway have a good day and of course like share and subscribe see you later